Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick review with you to help you with graphing on a coordinate plane. Um, so let's get started. First, I want to practice plotting. So point A, I want to plot at negative 2, comma 3. Now remember, when you are plotting or when you are writing an ordered pair, an ordered pair is the two numbers the first number is always the x-coordinate, meaning where is it on the x-axis? We have to go left and right before we go up and down. So first we figure it out where it goes left or right. Then is my y-coordinate, and the y-axis goes up and down. So after you go left or right, then you can go up or down. So point A, we want to plot it at negative 2, comma 3. Well, negative 2 is my x-coordinate, so I'm, negative means left, so I'm going to go 1, 2 to the left. And then 3 is my y-coordinate, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, right here. Now, please notice that I put the point on these grid lines. They don't go in the middle of the squares. They have to go on the lines, because these are the lines. This is negative 1, this line. This is negative 2. And then if I'm going up, this would be 1, 2, 3, right on the lines. If you put the points in a white spot, that's a different, that's a different coordinate. That's what I'm going to show you down here. Point B, x, comma, y. So first, my x coordinate is on 2.5. Now, 2.5 is in between 2 and 3. Here's 1, 2, 3. If I wanted to figure out where 2.5 was, I would go 1, 2, and then halfway. 2.5 is about right in between 2 and 3. Now for the y coordinate, I'm going to go down 4. And remember, I'm at 2.5 for the x, so I'm in between the grid lines now. So I'm going to stay 1, two, three, four. Here is point B, right where I put that dot. So just be careful that you are putting your points where they're supposed to go. If it's supposed to be in between two and three, that's fine. But if it's supposed to be on a whole number, then your dot has to go on the grid just like this. So this point right here, this is 2.5 comma negative four. Now, point C, I want to write the coordinates of point C. So remember, to do that, first I need to write the x-coordinate, then I need to write the y-coordinate. So where is C on the x-axis? Well, it's over here, right on this line, and this is negative 1. And then my y-coordinate, I'm going down, so that's going to be negative 1, negative 2. So the ordered pair for this point is negative 1, comma, negative 2. Now, lastly, I need to figure out my ordered pair for point D. Okay, so let me draw this. So my x coordinate, let's figure that out first. D is to the right, so that's positive 1, 2, 3. I see that it's on the 3 line, so I know this is going to be a 3 for the x coordinate. Now let's count up to see where it is on the y axis. 1, so let me do this. Ready? This would be 1, this would be 2, 3, this would be 4, but d is not on 4. And this would be 5 up here, but it's not there either. It's right in between 4 and 5. What number is it right in between 4 and 5? It's 4.5. So because it is not on the point of a grid, we know that this is not going to be a whole number for my y-axis. So my ordered pair here is 3, 4.5. And that's it. So if you guys have any questions about that or with any assignments, please let me know. Good luck. Bye-bye.